Well danced Grover then, a real delight for our senses. Chief Hess and the guests of honor. Now I request Reverend Father Principal to honor the Chief Honorable Minister with a shawl and memento. Come on, let's clap our hands and show our respect as well as happiness. I request Reverend Father Principal to honor the Honorable MLA of Kunji Party Constituency, Mr. Suratu R. Rajendran, with a shawl and a memento. I request Reverend Father Principal to honor the Honorable MLA of Kunji Party Constituency, Mr. Suratu R. Rajendran, with a shawl and a memento. Let's clap our hands and show our respect and happiness. I request Reverend Father Principal to honor the Honorable MLA of Nevei in constituency with a shawl and memento. I request Reverend Father Vice Principal to honor Reverend Father Rachagar, parish priest, with a shawl and a memento. Thank you, sir. Ethic Higher Secondary School, Annual Report 2014 and 15. Honorable Minister, Mr. M.C. Sambat. Honorable MLA, Mr. Sarutu Rarajendran, Kurinji Party Constituency. Honorable MLA, Mr. MPS, Siva Supramanian, Nevili Constituency. Reverend Father Saminathan, Secretary, Archdiocese and Board of Education, Pondicherry. Reverend Father R. Rachegar, Parish Priest and VF. Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sisters, NLC officials, leaders of trade unions, press reporters, Dear parents, distinguished guests, our well-wishers, ladies and gentlemen, good evening everybody. I am greatly delighted to present to you the 38th Annual Report of St. Paul's for the year 2014 and 15. I want to state the famous quotes of Paul, E. Campbell and Albert Hubbard. The chief aim of education is the harmonious development of all the God-given power and capacity of human beings, says Paul E. Campbell. A school should not be the preparation for life. A school should be life, says Albert Hubbard. We keep these quotations in our mind and impart quality education to each and every student. We also instill in the young minds, the Ten Commandments for a successful life. Plan while others are playing. Study while others are sleeping. Decide while others are delaying. Prepare while others are daydreaming. Begin while others are procrastinating. Work while others are wishing. Save while others are wasting. Listen while others are talking. Smile well, others are frowning and persist while others are quitting. With this introduction, I place before you the annual report. Academic achievements, higher secondary exam result. Excellence in academic is the hallmark of any reputed institution. Keeping up the tradition of excellence, this year has also been a year of many laudable achievements. Out of the 202 students who appeared in the higher secondary exam, 197 worked away successfully with a pass percentage of 97. Master M. Gautam obtained the school first with a total marks of 1,160 out of 1,200. SLC exam result. A total of 270 students appeared for the SLC examination and 268 students emerged victorious with a pass percentage of 99 percentage. Master S.J. Jovel Allen secured the school first 
with a total marks of 494 out of 500. Excellence in sports and games. In keeping with the best tradition of St. Paul School, our students have not only excelled academically, but also shown their mind in sports and athletics. I am proud to present a sample of their meritorious achievements. Master Cleoford Flair of Standard 10 has participated in the chess tournament conducted by School Games Federation of India and secured the first place by winning a gold medal. He participated in the Chief Minister Trophy and secured the second place by winning a silver medal. He participated in the Interstate Chess Tournament and secured the first place and received a cash award of 2000. He also participated in the State Chess Tournament in Salem, secured the first place and won the tablet. Master R.T. Sudhagar, Master J. Julian and Master R. Nitish represented the Tamil Nadu Junior Football Team and played in the 59th National School Game Federation of India held at Kolkata. Computer Center. Our computer center has been modernized with 20 computers which are provided with Core i3 processor with 4 GP RAM. Independence Day celebration. St. Paul is second to none. This has been proved in the Independence Day celebration. About six schools participated in the cultural events. Out of the six schools, St. Paul has secured the first place for the social awareness cultural program. The program was highly appreciated by the public of Navy. Our March Pass, Platoon Boys marched courageously and have a security first place. A special mention about our Mark Pass Platoon is that they are rewarded with the trophy for the past 19 years consecutively. <laughs> parent teachers meet. The management is very keen in meeting the parents of each student to discuss with them about the progress of their student. The motivational speech delivered to the students as well as the parents have inspired them and were highly effective. It helps them to have a great relief from their psychological tests and to increase their learning abilities. Communicative English program. The management has appointed three faculties to improve the communicative skills of the students in English. The main intention of the management is to help the students to converse well in English so that they will excel well in discussion and in their interview they attend in future. NSS. During the quarterly holiday, our NSS volunteers attended a camp in Kattogunanguruchi, a nearby village, where they cleaned the premises of the church, the temple, the school, and the village panjayat board. They also gave an awareness program about the using of restroom to the people, the National Green Corps. NGC consists of 50 green soldiers who regularly carry out activities like school campus cleaning, tree planting, environment, awareness rallies, and anti-plastic campaign. Junior Red Cross. The students of the Junior Red Cross of St. Paul's are trained to promote health service and friendship. The junior attended the Geneva Convention Day a one-day camp held at Mandara Kuppam, Red Ribbon Club. Red Ribbon Club helps the students to be aware of the killer disease that is AIDS. Scouts. The students, those who are involved in the scouts participate in awareness rallies during the National Integration Week. They spread the message of love and common brotherhood. A word of thanks. I take this opportunity to thank our most reverend Dr. Anthony Anandaraya, Archbishop of Pondicherry and Kadalur for his constant guidance and support. I would like to thank Sri Surender Mohan, CMD NLC Limited, and other officials for their keen interest in the welfare of our school. I would like to thank the Honorable Minister, Mr. M.C. Sambar, for his valuable presence among us 
in spite of his busy schedule. I thank the MLAs for their concern and the support shown towards our institution. I am much indebted to Reverend Father Sami Nathan, Secretary, Archdiocese Board of Education, Pondicherry, for his unassuming cooperation rendered to our institution. I like to thank the Parish Priest and BF, Reverend Father R. Chagar, the Golden Jubilee for his prayerful support to our institution. I would like to thank all the trade union leaders for their constant support towards the growth and development of our institution. I am much indebted to the retiring staff members for the marvelous work that they have rendered to the growth and development of our institution. I would like to thank the Silver Jubilarians for the strenuous work that they have rendered all these 25 years. I express my sincere gratitude to the St. Paul's Alumni Association for their benevolent contribution to the growth of the institution. I owe my sincere thanks to the parents and other well-wishers for their interest in our growth. I want to thank the SWIP Summer and Weekend Educational Program, the old student of St. Paul's who are conducting special coaching classes for the 12th standard students. I am much indebted to the members of the teaching and non-teaching staff for their strenuous hard work that they put in for the betterment of the students. I like to thank the Winners Institution for the communicating English. I express my thanks to the students who strive unceasingly to take our school towards the track of success. Above all, I thank God Almighty for severing His abundant grace on every one of us. To Him be honor, glory and power forever and ever. Thank you one and all. Thank you. Thank you, Father. That's indeed a elaborate report.